Okay, long time no see. Hard Knocks love tarot fans. What's going on? Welcome, welcome for the first time. Welcome back if you are a subscriber. Uh, thank you for your patience. Um, I, I'm very busy and I do my reads when I'm called to do them. And sometimes I'm called to care for my kids or I'm called to relax. I'm working or I'm called to do the laundry or snuggle with my cat. You know, I'm not always called to do, to do cards. But today, very heavily, I was. So, away we go. I'm doing what is good. Or, you know what? Fuck that. Anything. Anything Spirit wants to uh, let us know for the week. So, this is a weekly. This is a, the week forecast. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to start with Scorpio. I have a old tarot deck here from the 80s. Very unique deck. Here, Cagliostro, Cagliostro, Cagliostro tarot deck. And it was printed in Italy. Okay. And let's see. This one was printed. Uh, where is it? 1981. So, this is a reliable deck for me. I feel like. Uh, likes me this deck likes me all right i also have a few regular playing cards that i could clarify with okay my cat's ass is all up in this read it's all good and let's get started what's coming up for scorpio this week what are the messages for scorpio this week what are the messages for scorpio this week Whenever they find this is when I'm going to tell it for Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio this week? First card out of the deck is blank. No news is good news, baby. That's what I always say. Jerry, out. Come on. Jerry. Let's do that. We'll go ahead and clarify that. I am hearing, you know, peace. No bumps. No aggravations. It's going to be a mellow week for you, Scorpio. That's good, all right? No snags, no hiccups, no drama. In fact, temperance. You're calm and cool as a cucumber this week, Scorpio. Yeah. You're bendable. You go with the flow. It's all good, okay? Harmony. Balance of strengths. So just keeping strong. Keeping balanced. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Keeping a level head, right, in all areas. Digging this energy for Scorpio. What else? What else? What else? Looks like a beginning here, Scorpio. With the Ace of Swords. 64, 6 plus 4 is 10, an ending, a completion of a cycle. I do feel like there's new beginnings coming for you. I'm feeling party. I'm feeling an invitation of some sort this week. Scorpio, what else do we have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Scorpio forecast. Too many cards. That was the Ten of Cups. Somebody's got a secret crush on you, Scorpio. What is this? Another card of a message. So there's going to be somebody that is going to require you to use your temperance, okay? You might even just ignore the situation. You might not choose to respond instead of trying to use your patience, your temperance, your balance. Maybe you you say to yourself, you know what, I just can't do it. I can't take that chance. I'm going to go ahead and just ignore the situation. I'm just going to say nothing and feel nothing and let this ending end and let this new beginning begin. Okay, but there's definitely a message here. 
It could be in not just in the form of words, but it could be in the form of eye contact. It could be in the form of art, a gesture of some type. But a sword does indicate communication of some way, okay? Ace of Swords, someone's got something important to tell you, something that matters, something that's going to change things up. We have here the Three of Swords, my friends. This is heartache. This is pain. Okay, this is madness. This is disorder, chaos. I'm going to clarify that one. Let's get a few more cards for Scorpio. Please like and subscribe to this channel if anything is reddening, or if you'd like to support me and my children. This is an autistic family. Thank you in advance. We got some cups here. Got some five of cups. Feeling regret, skis. But it is in reverse. So, hmm. Looks like there's going to be some headbutting here, okay? It has to do with some heartbreak and heartache. What else we got here? The four, the four of cups in reverse, so. Scorpio, I feel like this week you're going to be tested. I do feel like you are in the energy of let's just avoid this and not put our emotions into it and get and get crazy because you're getting over this. Okay, there's still pain lingering. Your person, whoever that may be, may still be in a lot of pain or they might be wanting to bring you pain. But they have a message for you, and it requires you to either shut the fuck up or to calm the fuck down. But you're over this. Uh, the omen of news, as it states on this card, is that at this point of the game, and I do feel like there's a game being played here, Scorpio, you are winning. Why? Because you're not feeding into this manipulation. You are not emotionally invested in this any longer. And that is going to bring on some pain. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Um, there is going to be a situation that is going to be testing you. You seem to be in a very strong, positive energy. What's Scorpio's energy right now, Spirit? Scorpio energy. You're keeping yourself, you don't want people to know how you're feeling, Scorpio. You're keeping, or wanting to keep it secret. What is this? What's your energy? It's only the devil in reverse, motherfucker. And the temperance card? Yeah, you're staying away from drama. You're staying away from toxic fucking situations. You are just wanting to, you know, keep to yourself. Do your thing. Work hard. Do good things. You don't want to play around with all this other riffraff. What do we have here? Yeah, because when you do, this sucks up your energy, right? Energy vampires. Takes away your strength when you even entertain this devil energy. Okay, so you are avoiding some type of toxic uh, relationship that in the past it took, uh, it took a lot out of you here to get better, to heal, but you are over it. You're no longer crying over sp spilled milk. You're not no longer waiting for that single person's cup. You're open to new and other cups. And, you know, you might be hurting somebody because you're so unattached, okay? But Spirit is asking you to take the high road and do not say anything if you have nothing nice to say. There is going to be a message coming towards you, Scorpio. Uh, use your best discernment, okay? Um, Things could get mad. Things can get chaotic. Uh, there's a potential too. So watch out for those people who are trying to get under your skin and choose the high road. That is my advice. That's Spirit's advice. Bravo on turning your back to this negative fucked up energy and not letting it take your power away. That's been your read, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, we're going to mixy out these cards here. Mixio, mixio. Mixio, mixio.
Cancer. Welcome to our next tarot. This is your week forecast. See what's going on, what's coming towards you, what's inside you and around you this week in love for Cancer. Cancer, please. Cancer messages, please, Spirit. Messages for Cancer. Woohoo! Wow. Okay. I feel like you're going to be very busy this week, Cancer. I feel like you're going to be juggling things around. There's going to be just really busy. You're going to be busy. Busy, busy, busy. Doing this, doing that, multitasking. The Queen of Spades, the Queen of Swords. There it is. Could be male or female. This is just energy. But you're cutting people out, or you have been cut out, Cancer. Either way, you're lonely this week. Putting your head in your work. Oh, Cancer, the Queen of Hearts in reverse. Someone's taken their love away from you, Cancer. And you feel threatened, actually, at this point. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling threatened. Hmm. What else? Another energy for Cancer. The tower in reverse. Something happened. A shocking revelation or something will happen this week. It has to do with your pride, Cancer. There's going to be... Something very sudden that's coming into your life. It's going to be very shocking to you. It's something that could have been great, but was ruined. Why was this ruined? We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> yeah, this has to do with ego. This is an ego death. You're worried, Cancer. You're worried. <sighs> Cancer, I feel like you lost a valuable woman, okay? You're worried this person is going to try to get some type of revenge towards you. This situation has brought you down to size. This situation has humbled you. Just one moment. So Cancer, what I'm seeing here is that you're feeling very lonely and vulnerable this week. There's someone in your life that you lost. You feel like you're being punished. This was a smack in the face. This was a surprise to you, okay? Your ego and your pride is hurt. You're very worried. You're very worried. Thank you, honey. Let's pull some more here. Clarifying the tower in reverse, please. Clarifying the tower in reverse, we got the queen of pentacles. The ace of swords. And the four of pentacles.
I think this is telling me that you missed an opportunity here. You feel like you're being punished by this person walking away. But I do feel like you have your tail between your legs at this time. I do feel like you feel foolish. And I do feel like you are going to step back and go into hermit mode and just totally clam up. You're going to crab up this week, Cancer. There's something that you were counting on that didn't work out and it was embarrassing. And it cut you down to size. Okay? Something like that. Um, but it is a learning. If you see it as a learning experience, then you will transmute that energy, right? Cancer, that's been your read. Thank you for visiting me today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and namaste. Welcome, Pisces. This is your week forecast for whenever you're meant to find this. The Popus. The air, woman, intelligence, glory, the mother. So this is the Empress. Empress energy. Beautiful energy for you. We also have Pisces and Cancer energy here as well. Okay. All right. So the Empress is on their ship. The Empress is love, unconditional love, unconditionally loved, and unconditionally loves. Ooh, what's going on with this? Scorpio got this card. We're going to clarify. Let's get a few more. Energies for Pisces, please. Hmm, you might have gotten quiet on somebody here. Pisces. Huh. Yeah, I might be having a little bit of trouble with this two of wands here. Feeling sadness. Who's making the Empress sad? Let's see here. Oh, okay. Some three of pentacles in reverse. Alexis! Alexis. Go play with that in your room, please. Alexis. you might be dabbling in some risky business here. There you are. Pisces energy. Cancer energy. Could also be Aries or Aquarius. But there's definitely some hidden agendas, some hidden enemies some danger, some powers, some manipulation going on here. Let's get a few more cards for Pisces. Energy for the sweet spirit. Pisces. You have a tower. Capricorn, Aries, Scorpion energy. Something's going down. Something's going down, my friend. Something unexpected. This is looking very cryptic. Okay, we have unsafe business. We have sadness and troubles. We have dangers and hidden enemies. And we have a surprise tower coming down. Towers are not always negative. But they're always a surprise, and surprises come with change, unexpected change. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. Someone's turning around for some happiness after leaving the situation. Hmm. What I'm feeling here for you, Pisces, is after being quiet, after shutting down, for a while, after removing your love, 
not stopping the love, but maybe you disconnected from somebody. Or maybe, you know, maybe you were mad at them. Maybe you did hold anger in your heart for this person. Maybe you went completely numb. Maybe it caused you trouble. Maybe it caused you sadness. Maybe it pushed you towards some risky business, some unsafe behavior. Okay. Maybe it did. I feel like you went through it or you're going to be going through it. This is all for this week. I would be very careful here. I feel like someone is going to be taken advantage of here. There's some risks that you are willing to take, but you don't have all the answers. I do feel like somebody is going to try to return, whether it be you or your person, somebody's gonna turn around and try to return to you, Pisces. They want to see if they can get you back. Let's clarify this eight of cups in reverse. Someone wants happiness with you. Someone that you walked away from already or they walked away from you. Ten of pentacles. This is somebody that at one point you saw a very solid foundation with or this is somebody that you've known for a long time or somebody that has money or that you see as someone who is stable and you can count on six of pentacles Oy. someone's coming back pisces Someone wants to give back. Someone wants their pain to be healed or wants to heal your pain. Someone has something serious to tell you. Somebody wants to make things balanced. They want an even give and take, maybe even just the conversation. They want a chance to speak what's in their heart. For some of you, they want a chance to calm your soul. They have something to tell you. They're noticing that you are stressed out and upset and they don't like seeing you this way. They hold you high and they don't like you seeing, they don't like to see you feeling this way. There's definitely some secrets in the shadows. I do feel like you are being protected. But someone wants to turn around and take care of you. I am hearing that you bit off more than, than you could chew. You're not, you don't know, you know, who you're dealing with or what you're facing. But there's something coming unexpected. There's secrets. There's something coming. And it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be very surprising to you. Yeah, five of wands. Trouble's a brewing. Trouble's coming. But you have an ally who's got your back. Yeah. They're going to fight fire with fire. They're going to protect you. Four of wands. This person wants to show you that they're legit, that they got your back. All right, Pisces, that's as far as I'm going to go for you. Thank you for watching Hard Knocks Tarot. Please like and subscribe if it's resonated or if you're just digging my energy, digging my reads. Let's move on.